welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i'm back home in barbados for summer i had a really crazy last couple weeks of school i had a show i had exams i had you know the whole video so i wasn't able to make any videos but i'm going to be making as much as possible and i'll be editing them myself because andre is you know busy being famous so i'm gonna give y'all a quick bronze look usually this look takes me like 30 minutes which is quick to me if it's not quick to you that's okay i don't care but it's quick to me sometimes 15 if i'm not distracted but if i'm like listening to music i'm playing like the new 2016 crop over songs right now on the back this is yannick cooper's song was it called dominant they don't want us to fat they do not want us to fat this is dominant in the back just laying down cleaning my computer because i have lots of stuff on it without further ado let's start this look <laughs> Now the first thing I do obviously is moisturize my skin. I'm going in with first a sunblock. Because you know it's for a summer look. Burn. Summer means sun. Then I go in with my Kiehl's eye cream. My little eye blast alert thing. There we go. Then going in with both Makeup Forever primers. This is the step warm primers and the smoothing primer and then the mattifying primer. I put in the smoothing primer in areas I know that need smoothing, so that's my eye area. Under the eye area for those eye wrinkles and any folds of my mouth. With the mattifying primer, I go into like the T-zone areas that tend to get oily. And with this, I'm going to tap it in. You want gleamy, dewy, bronzy skin. But I'm going with the Melanie Mills Gleam. This is a bronze gold. It's just like a little like tanning cream situation. I take the smallest amount like that. I wet my hands. And just tan my skin. Gives me a little bronzy. After that's on the skin, we move right into foundation and I use the Infallible by L'Oreal, it's a pro matte. And because I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, I just like dot it all over my face. I don't put too much because it's hot, you know, you don't want to have all the makeup caking in. And instead of going in my beauty blender, because I want to make this as fast as possible, I go in with this buffer brush from Morphe, it's the MB. 39. Now I go in with the orange concealer from LA Girl. Mine's almost out. And I just put it in all these areas that need to get their legs together. And again, with the same brush, I just go in and I, instead of wiping, I kind of tap. Going in with concealer, this is my NARS Cream Radiance in Amand. Go in with this is the Maybelline New York Age Rewind. Let's like this. It's almost empty. Well, not really. It's like half full. You know. And I just this is really bright, so I don't need that much. And because it has like, this sponge application, it goes on really lightly. I go in with my big brush, put some on top of the eyelid. And now we set all those areas. Using the Laura Mercier, I'm finally going out into my beauty blender. <laughs> I don't really want to bake the area because I don't want a heavy, like, crazy coverage, obviously. I just really put in areas I need it. So not a serious bake. I just leave it there for, like, a little while. And then I go in with my Black Opal foundation stick. And I prefer to do the cream contour because it's going to be really hot, you know? So we want all the levels 
covered as possible. Blend that out with the same brush. It blends so nicely. I mean, like, all of my makeup is currently melted. So, that makes it easier as well. But how bronzy that is. Ooh. And then, after that, I go with my bronzer. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion number two. I just, this is a new one, so I, like, really got a scratch out in this. But yeah, it's probably out. <laughs> like I like to be crazy bronze. Like look at how bronze this is compared to this. <laughs> and just to overdo a joke, I go in there with the matte, dark deep mineralized skin finish, and just a light dusting. All of this. And now we can dust off all this extra ish. Just gonna use a clean brush. I actually don't really brush off most of it, I kind of like blend it back into the skin. Picking a flat top brush, I'm going into the bronzer and I'm just gonna lightly snatch that nose. Blending it all into the brow bone. And then using the beauty blender to blend all your harsh lines. At this point, I stop and I get my Tarte Rainforest, you know, water. And I spritz my Tarte face. <sighs> my God! I bought a large, so it's fine. But <sighs> I'll just do the Urban Decay. This is just to set this layer of powder first. Also, it helps my face from melting halfway through because, as I told you, it's crazy hot right now. I'm so bronze. Okay. <coughs> now into brows. I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in chocolate. And just a normal Morphe brush. I love this song, guys. There's the underline. Fill in with like strokes going upwards, and then they go on top. And I brush through all the hair to try to spread out the color. And then go under the brow clean it with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I think that's an NC45. To bring back the favorite, I use my cupcake brush and then I blend all the concealers down. Like a bash mat. Mm, mm, mm. Alright guys. Um, the next thing we're going to move on to is just a quick eye. I really, I just go in with Sienna by Anastasia by Beverly Hills. Um, I legit just put that all over my lid. But first, let me prime my lid. Beauty blender and some of the transfer powder. I'm gonna just set the set the lid so there's no creasing. Going in with a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dust that all over my lid, taking it all the way up to the crease. Some Ardell Wispies. You could just put on um, mascara if you want to. So this is kind of like a bronzy but natural kind of face. <laughs> natural kind of face. 
but have I ever done an Octo Face Day flag? So I have pony lashes. I love mascara. I know blush is optional because as you can see, like the bronzing already gives you color. But you know, I use a blush baby, and I have a new blush to play with. And it's not orange. It's one of the new Becca Luminous Blushes. This is in the color Dahlia. Look at that. You don't even need a lot. Like, a little goes a long way. Shoot. Look at that. Shoot. I just think it makes it look prettier. That's so far. Now another surprise, I'm not going to use a champagne pop in this video. What? It's because in my Etsy Glam Bike, if y'all don't know what Etsy Glam Bike is, basically like a beauty subscription. You get a bag every month and the products in it are tailor made to your, like, what you like. So Michelle found that no, I like a good highlighter. She sent me a Luxie brush and from this month I got this shimmer brick from the Japanese company Ikari. As you can see, you got like a dark gold, a brighter gold, a bronzy, and a pink. And you know I don't really like gold highlighters because I don't ever think they like show up on my skin. This one shows up. Boom. This one shows up to the party. She RSVP'd and she turned up on time. So I swirl it around. And it just gives me like a really natural bronzy gold. Just going to the golds. Spray my face with the Urban Decay. And right as it's drying down, I tap. Your nose, top lip, from your forehead. Who am I? Who am I? Who? Using the Lolita, my cat on the heavy. Add a little extra zhuzh to the lip. I'm gonna go in with the same Hikari highlighter that I was using. This one here. Well, that's it, look, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed all the new crop over songs I've been playing in the background. That's it for this, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.